Hi everyone, welcome to WGK Glass Art. Tonight is Catch the Glass with Kim. I'm Kim, however, it's gonna be a different night. I know you guys normally see me in the gallery, but tonight I am in the studio with Sandra. And tonight I am going to be bead making on a torch. I have never worked on the torch before, so you guys get to watch firsthand my first experience on a torch trying to make a bead. So I'm going to need your patience, your support, and a lot of cheering on. But Sandra's gonna demonstrate first what all goes into making a bead. So she'll, she's the professional. Mine is not gonna look like hers, <laughs> but we're gonna give it a wing, okay? I'm gonna switch you over to Sandra. Hey there, everyone. I look a bit tall today, I heard. That's because I changed the chair um, to something that might suit better for Kim as she has to look over the torch as well. So that's why I look so tall today. <laughs> so um, I thought before we start with Kim, I'm going to show you one of, a, of the, uh, one of my beads. Um, it's not really that I invented it or anything, it's just... Actually, I started with bead making quite um, late, I would say, in my career. I, I just thought it would be um, 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 something that I'm missing um, not to know how to do beads. So I'm not a completely professional like I do with the animals and that kind of stuff. Um, but as for a beginner who's never worked with cloth, I think beads is the ideal way because you have one of the, on, on one side it's not both glass, on one side you have that metal rod and um, it's gonna stay, it's not gonna wiggle, it's not gonna, gonna fall apart, it's not gonna do anything. Um, so that's kind of stabilizing the whole process. So I think that's for a beginner, it's really perfect. Um, and I tried it and it, for me it worked right away, but of course I also knew how to work with cloths. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> sure, okay. So anyway, what you have to know when you start working with a bead anyway is how your torch works. That's important. I think I have to sh a short explanation to Kim as well. So if you have on this one, you have three wolves, you say, right? Knobs. The wolves, wolves, knobs, knobs. knobs. Mm -hmm. So that the big one is gas. So it goes up, the, up and it goes down. That's all. It, it never goes out on this torch. At least it never goes out. Um, and then this one up here, that's the, the oxygen. So that's what makes the flame blue and that one here would be air but we ha don't have the air on it so that's usually something that you would need when you do something hollow that you have to blow in and that kind of so you, then you would need air um i'm gonna take that off for a moment okay anyway so when you start with a, with a torch you light it up when there is no oxygen on there otherwise it's like a small explosion usually oh goodness uh it, yeah it would f scare our leo to death i think <laughs> is that the popping noise that we hear sometimes sometimes yeah but also it's also sometimes it kind of it gets stuck a little bit of an air trap in the torch and then when you turn it on and it was out for a while it sometimes sometimes shoots a bit okay. but it's nothing to worry about that's just so when you light it, right. you use the gas, of You course. just have the gas on, yeah. Okay. I just turn it on here, on that main, um, how would you say that? Is that a valve then? Yeah. A valve. Mm -hmm. I, I would say a valve, yeah. yeah. So then you turn it on and then you just start your torch. And then um, later on you turn on the, 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 the oxygen. oxygen. So, and then what you need to know about the flame itself is it has several zones. So there is a, an inner zone that you see is a bit yellowish in there. So that's kind of a zone where the gas with the oxygen mixes. And that's usually a zone when, where you want to avoid working because that usually turns the, the, the glass grayish or it, it kind of, it has an oxidizing habit in there okay. <clears throat> so and then comes the, the the middle zone that would be from about here to about here mm -hmm. in that size of a flame 
um, that's where the, the, the op you have the optimum on, on, in mixture and otherwise up there it's an kind of an oxidizing again because there comes more air from the outside comes together with the, the flame itself so you want to work in kind of in the center area of the flame so that's important to know when would you work at the tip like where most of the air is um, if you want to preheat something you would work on the top like okay. when you when you are heating something up and you don't have a preheater I would usually I would start with a with a, a gas flame I would put it in the gas flame and then when you want to go even slower then you would turn it on and then you want to go up here okay and really slowly slowly, slowly bring move it in. down the, the, the flame okay that would work as well I guess it takes much longer on the tip than here on the preheater that we have built yeah, well, it cuts in in so far as you put it on the preheater and you can do something on the on the torch at the same time. So there is definitely the advantage. Um, and when you know how to work that preheater, you definitely can be sure that you don't have to preheat anything with a torch. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so that's important to know with a torch, I think. Okay. Um, Hi, Erin. Hi, Tommy and Sally. For, for those of you who are just tuning in, tonight, of course, is Thursday. It's Cash a Glass with Kim. I know you see Sandra, um, but we're doing something a little different. Sandra's going to demonstrate beat making, and then right. I'm going to try it for the first time. Yep. So make sure you guys That's why I'm stay also tuned. trying to explain the whole thing, um, because, you know, I mean, some of you might have tried bead making or are professionals even, so maybe even my stuff will, the beads at least, will look weird um, <laughs> and you know better. So um, yeah, but still um, as a beginner, I think it's, it's the, ide the ideal way to start on something with class. Um, so what I want to do is definitely first I want to do um, a bead and I thought of something with a flower in there. So I have a mandrel and that's the bead release and we mixed it for like 10 minutes. <laughs> so it is kind of smooth. It always should be really smooth. There should be no clumps in there. You always should shake it like crazy and always swish in it. Um, that really there was no clumps in there because that makes sure that you have a really nice mixture what you should have so and then in this case i'm flame drying it you they can either when you when you put it on they can either dry on the air so you stick it in a pot or something that it dries overnight um, or as i do now you can dry it in the flame And you always see it. That's the easiest way to see it. If it's dry, it kind of changes a bit into a lighter color mm, when it when it gets dry. That's what I noticed at least. So and this is a black. So I'm gonna use the as a base color. I'm using black. Ooh, it doesn't stick yet. Now it's even crumbly. It shouldn't crumble off. Ah, that's not gonna work yet. Kim, it's not working. Oh. Maybe I talk too long. I doubt it. I have to. I have to Hi, take Jose that off. And Sorry. Joe. Sorry. I have to take that one off. That's not gonna work. Not happy with it. Not happy. See. <laughs> So I there was a I word in German. There was a, no, <laughs> there was a word in German, Vorführeffekt. effect. It means that um, you're trying to do something, and it always works until someone Someone's is watching, watching you. and you really have to make it right. <laughs> then it's not working. Exactly. You guys are making Sandra nervous, so it won't just be me. It's uh, it's soft glass, right? It's soft glass. Yeah, it's soft yeah, glass, yeah, yeah. Tommy. It's soft glass. Yeah. yeah. For those of you who are just I think joining beat making us, is, is a lot of soft glass. Okay. Those of you who are just joining us, Sandra is demonstrating 
uh, bead making, and then I'm going to try it for the first time. I've never been on the torch before. No, so you guys get to see what it's like from a beginner's standpoint. No, it works. That's the one. It does not look easy. Mm -hmm. Why? Why doesn't it? It just doesn't. Why doesn't it look easy? Because it doesn't look easy? <laughs> <laughs> I can't explain why it doesn't look easy. It just doesn't look like it's going to be easy. It's going to be challenging, but I am up for the challenge. Of course you are. I think the, the, for, for me always the problem is when I start with it, it needs to be a bit in the flame. So it gets a bit of temperature, but you can't put it too much in the flame because then it kind of crumbles off like it did, you know, mm -hmm. a few minutes ago. Because then it'll be too soft, right? No, it just falls off. It's good. It gets too dry. Oh. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to put a few dots on there. In this case, always in a pack of four. Okay. So that's something that Kim doesn't have to do yet. It's just that's the that's the uh, the extras. That's the extra, yeah. It's the extra action. So then you want to melt it in. And always when you do beads, what I realized when I'm used to doing things fast in bead making, you always do it really, really slow. Ah. Because that makes sure it really goes the right way you can watch it as long as you want to you take your time that it doesn't bubble and anything that's what I really realized <laughs> so there is some white so we want to put some white dots on the orange dots possible in the center. I'm sure that I'm not gonna put it right in the center. So I think there are more people in, in bead making to, who can really do that so professional that I'm Im always impressed of seeing that. But as I said, I just do that next to my real job. Mm. And um, yeah. Yeah, I've seen some quite impressive beads out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there, there are some quite, quite some good people in there, in that community. It's quite big too. Yeah. I've met a few in Germany f a while ago. That was also interesting. They were so interested and amazed about what I could do, and I was so impressed and amazed about what they could do. Mm -hmm. So that's green and I'm just just putting some green dots on the white dots and then we can melt it all in and by the way I did two other beads before so we can okay. check them out once I'm done with this one cool beads. so yeah as I explained to Kim today, I'm usually more the professional for people who already have some experience with class, but I'm still trying to help as good as I can with someone who does not have the experience. So I'm sure we can do that fine. I think so. It looks okay. It doesn't look so bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist it a little bit and press on it and it kind of gives it a swell inside cool. I've been seeing that for a while and I always liked that design That's what you need a bowl for. Oh, the water. Mm, the water. 
It's for cooling your, your tools. I think we are running out of oxygen, Kim. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I see the plane keeps getting smaller. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think I have to hurry on. Tommy says they're called pinwheels. The little swirls, Tommy, is that what you mean? The swirls oh. are called pinwheels? Okay, I didn't know that. But okay. See, I told you there were professionals on there as well. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gosh, does my feet have to be this elaborate? No, hell no. <laughs> we are doing one color. I told you we are, we are doing, we are just starting with one color. Okay. Okay, great. Thank you, Tommy. Tommy said, yep, the little swirls are pinwheels. Cool. See, I learned something. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Change the oxygen. Yep. Okay. It takes a moment. Maybe I'll go in the gallery for a little bit while you, you can do oxygen. that. Okay. You can do that. I'll take you guys in the gallery while uh, Sandra changes the oxygen. As you can see, just... the flame is getting lower, so she has to go outside. See, I should have checked oxygen. that before. I did. That's the one thing that I did not check. I was okay. racing around for half an hour before we started. That's okay. You had getting still everything to do. ready. Oh. No sweat. So, and here it is. And then you have to still turn it until it's a bit cool. Because when you put it on too hot on that mattress, then it gonna, it's going to stick. Okay. Um, yeah, I didn't. I did quite well. See? Can you see it from there? Okay. Is it too high? Is it too close? Just leave it. I had to just adjust the zoom. Go out a little bit. That way? There we go. Can you guys see the beat now? I yeah, so. it looks good. It looks okay. Yeah, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> okay, so you go out. Okay. 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 I'll take you guys in the gallery a little bit, show you around. If you guys missed our Sunday live or even our last Thursday um, live, we we did Halloween. Showed you guys some of our Halloween decor. The ghosts are new. You may want to go on our website and check them out. And of course, we have spiders and dragons. We have vampire bats. You see our bat there with the multicolored glass and the vampire teeth. We have almost everything you need for your Halloween decor. Here's our dichroic sea dragon. Hopefully you can see the dichroic there really well. You wanna hang anything with dichroic or a ventrine in a sunny window so the light can get to it. Um, here's our dragon, Anari, with a radiometer hanging from the claws. In the back there, you guys can see our sleeping bats. We make the sleeping bats in brown with the open wings and also in black with the closed wings. There is our large bat in flight in the multicolored glass. Hey, Rachel, if you guys stay tuned, you'll get to see me working on the torch tonight. Um, with this episode of Catch the Glass with Kim, I'll be working on a torch doing bead making for the very first time. It's gonna be quite a challenge, so I'm gonna need you guys help to cheer me on. There's our small bat in flight with the spreaded wings. Here's our dragon Vio in the red, yellow, and gray. Our galaxy spider. It's just a little overview here in the gallery. While Sandra changes oxygen on the torch, the oxygen started running a little low. So I'll just run here in the gallery and give you guys a sneak peek of what we have. 
Thank you, Jenny. Here's some of our ghosts, our new ghosts. Hey, Rachel. This one is our toe-touching ghost. And there in the back is our stretching ghost. That dragon there in the back is a one-of-a-kind piece with the scorpion tail. Here's some of our other dragons. Yeah, guys, you can find all of these pieces on our website. Thank you, Rachel. I'm going to need it. You can find all these pieces on our website at wgkglass.com. So I think Sandra is done with the, with the oxygen. So we're going to sneak back into the studio. Uh, the dragons are different sizes. You can find them on our website in the mythical and whimsical section. Um, some are four by four inches. Some are 13 inches long. Some are 12 inches long, nine inches long. So they vary. Um, but let's go back here in the studio. Here we are. I'm sorry, kglass.com. I'll type it here in the notes. Sorry about that. Okay, Sandra, you can go ahead. Okay. Okay. Um, so, what I want to do next is I want to show him how you do a really simple beat. So we need some glass. I'm gonna use the, the ice blue. Um, whatever Kim chooses later on, we will see. Mm. <laughs> and then we're gonna dip that in there. And dry it off in a flame. I just said earlier it uh, usually it's you can see if it's dry because it changes a little bit of the color it, it seems to get a bit lighter okay then it, it goes dry mm -hmm. yeah I can see it's dry already on the other you, end yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so it really needs to be nice and dry completely so and then we turn on, oh, that's a flame again. <laughs> okay. So, and then what you do is you hold this one. You're right-handed, right? I'm right-handed. Good. You hold it on in the left. You hold a mandrel like that. And you hold uh, the other glass like would you, you would hold a pen. Okay. And then you go under the flame with the point where you want to attach and you heat up that glass, you always twist and turn while you heat it up. That would be probably, you will have your difficulties with, 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 that, with yeah. turning that's all the time. But that's what you ideally what you do. And then when you have, have the glass ready, you go near the flame and, just and then you on. just drop it on. And then you twist the mandrel. Right, and then you twist the mandrel and just keep heating up the glass on the you heat it up until you have the bead as big as you want it. Um, yeah, more or less. It's it's what you have on there. That's the the how you, how big the bead is gonna be. Okay. So I'm gonna do another one. So that would be a simple simple bead. And it spin that off again. I didn't have that with the with the other bead release. Mm. Maybe that works better. That's a new one. another one dip it in Oop. and you don't have to go all the way down just it should in just be a little bit more than what you need on the mandrel okay for that bead i think the professionals even can do two or three beads at one mandrel yeah I but can see i can see that definitely when they are fast and when they just do one colored ones yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, I've seen some professional in beads that is really amazing. I had a good friend in Switzerland 
an, a, a, a lady, she's a bit older than me, mm -hmm. and she did silver work. That was cool. So, so she made a really big black piece mm -hmm. and then she painted all circles stuff on it. Oh, wow. All circles. And it looked completely clear. And then she turned off almost all of the oxygen and went through it. And it was completely silver. Wow. That was so amazing. That was one of the most what amazing things. The glass that she put on in the circles. Uh -huh. And what kind of glass was that? Um, well, that there are silver glasses who kind of act that way when you when it comes into an oxidizing flame. Oh, cool. Yeah. There is some cool uh, cool stuff out there. That's what I realized when I came to to bead making really. So, again, I'm gonna try to heat up the material here. And then I go under the flame and put it on. And it's not sticking yet. Now it's sticking. I really don't like that beat release. I must admit that. This is a new one. Now. It's a new one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a new one. I never had that one before. The other one was better. don't like that too much. It creates a lot of air traps in there. Mm -hmm. Somehow, see that? Mm -hmm. They I keep coming. That. Strange. Oh, I mean, strange. it looks interesting, but it's not what I want. Yeah, really. mm. yeah th those are also the, the difficulties that you experience when you do bead making. Yeah. And as for the, the beat release, I really, I, I tried several, of course, but I really couldn't figure out so far which one is the best for me. So I'm thinking that one definitely not. Mm. <laughs> well, why don't, I why don't I just give it a try and see what happens? Yeah. I'm sure mine will have air traps and that's okay. Yeah, well, there are definitely, it looks interesting. It does. Mm hmm Maybe that's more something that you would use when you have clear, clear beads. So maybe one more, huh? And then you can have you go. Sounds good to me. Are you guys ready? You ready to watch me <laughs> do something for the first time? Happy to have you guys as part of my experience. <laughs> thank you guys for joining us here on facebook tonight and if you can please share this video maybe there are some people who are interested in trying beat making and they never have and they want to see it from a novice's yeah. point of view yeah that was the key intention of, of us doing that video really mm -hmm to really make sure that you are not in any way prepared other than having seen it. Mm -hmm. That one was better. Yeah, still an air trap in there. <laughs> and you can also, if you, want to, oh, if you want to be bigger, then you heat up a bit more and then you attach some more and then it goes bigger. So that's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. So if you start like with a smaller amount, that you attach at the first moment, then you can easily go back later on and just attach a bit more. By the way, which color do you want to use? I think I want to do red. Red? Okay. Brandon, why don't you check out our website and maybe some of our YouTube videos to see how much experience Sandra has. Sandra's been working with glass for 28, 28 years. 28 years, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And just not beat making. Just not beat making. <laughs> just not beat making. So don't be discouraged about what you see here. But if you check out some of just. our YouTube videos and also some of our previous Facebook Live videos, you'll get to see how professional she is and, and her skill. I think you'll be quite impressed. <laughs> okay. 
Let's exchange our seats. Let's exchange. I'm the one who's not a professional. I'm the one who knows nothing about glass. Okay, there is your glass. My glass is, thank you. I cleaned it. I appreciate it. Was so it. dirty. I appreciate it. You know how I am about cleanliness. <laughs> I cleaned it earlier. Here we go. So, is it high enough? Ouch. Yeah. Yeah? Mm-hmm. It's high enough. It's great. Okay. 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 Does it work? So which one? I think yeah. a, a pet one, a small one. Yeah, I think a bigger one. Please. Okay. Is this fine? Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever. Here is my mandrel. Your mandrel. Yeah. I'm gonna you dip it in. Stick it in the. Yep. Yeah, that's too long enough. Yep. Yeah. And I can pick out any piece of red. No, it's on the preheat. I put some. You're the best. So I, <laughs> I put it on. You don't want to uh, uh, put it in the, that one in the flame before preheating. Wait a minute. Does, is the red the shooting one? Yeah. Okay, let's not do red. <laughs> you can still do it. Not if it's the shooting one. I don't want to do well, the yeah, shooting Now it doesn't shoot anymore. Oh. That's why God. I put it on there. You're the bestest. So it's pretty dry, right? I would hold it the other way around. This position. My yeah. hand like that? Yeah. God, that does make it easier to turn. So it's pretty dry, right? Yeah. And this one, like a pen. And that, not there where it looks Where black. it's black, right? Yeah. Just here. Yeah. Just there. And then you turn on the oxygen. Oh, yeah. Right. I should have done that. I'm going to do that. Thank you. Uh, it, it's, it's, no, it's, it's getting too hot. It's getting too hot. So put it away? <laughs> Dip it in the water? <laughs> Dip it in the water? Um, no, no, no. Let's turn it off. Take it off. Right. Just work up here. Uh, and down okay. there. On this. Up there. Oh, I got it. That needs a bit less power. Okay. If it starts to close, I was too if close. It too, too, it gets too hot, too hot, then it starts bubbling and then uh, it's foaming and breaking apart. So I was too close in the oxygen and gas yeah. area. And it went too hot. Yeah. Now it's good. When it gets white, it's too hot. So what do I do? Well, yeah, we have to pour out of the flame. <laughs> but don't I want it too hot? Uh, yeah, you want it to glow, but it, you don't want it to, uh, to get too hot. So I want it glowing like this. Yeah, it needs to have a nice orangey glow, okay. not white. So I need to go further outside. Is that correct? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Now, now it looks fine. So that, how do I know it to? That is about the working temperature that you need. So that's that. about the light orangey glow. That's fine. So let's drop so it on the mandrel. You go underneath the mandrel and then you drop it on. Underneath with the mandrel, and then you drop it on, and you turn the mandrel. This is the Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you take it off in the flame. The, the, not, not the mandrel, the, the glass. <laughs> right, the glass. Oh, wow. in, the, in the flame with the glass. In the flame with the glass. Not with the mandrel. Not with the mandrel. The mandrel comes off. Like, well, yeah, it's okay. It's on. It's on. And don't get it too hot. Don't get it too hot. And then you have to balance it. You have to balance it, in a, you know, yeah. Now you have to, the, the thing when you go up like this, it moves that way. When you go down like this, it moves that way. Mm -hmm. I see it moving. See? This is, this is the key point of, of trying to, to work with glass, that you see it move. I'm gonna put it on the I see it's thing. white now, so it's yeah. too hot. And when when it's 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 nice, then you, when it's it looks good all together, then you go out of the flame and you turn it until it cools down. I think you you should go out of the flame. Okay. Just keep turning it and watching where it moves. Yeah, it got a bit too hot. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's moving. Yeah, now now it doesn't move anymore. But that's that's fine. I mean. No, it's too hot still. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Well, for the first one, you know, it, it, there was class on the mandrel. Mm -hmm. And you get it hot, so it's, it, that, that was good so far. Why, why not? Okay, yeah. Try another? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. But it's still too hot. See, now it moves to that side. Yeah, because I see. You're holding it, no, you're not and I actually twist right better with my right because I'm, I'm right-handed. And I could always switch, can I? I don't have to stand you my can, right hand. Yeah, of course you can. It's just that you have to watch out where you, how you hold it, that it, it doesn't move to one side because now it gets cold. Then it's okay. Okay, so I put it in. Well, next one. Next one. There is a lot of mandrills left. <laughs> <laughs> next one. Okay. So that was the first one, guys. That was the first one, yeah. Uh, a soft flame, not not a take off the oxygen. The, the, the one. This one. Yep. Yep. The one. There we go. Torch work one oh one. Pretty dry now, right? Yeah, when, when it's dry, you turn on. You go out a bit the muscle and turn on. Yeah. How's my oxygen? Yeah, 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 it looks good. Yeah, yeah. Looks, looks good. And don't go too far down with the with the red. So here. And not too not too hot. Always when it goes too too fast for you, when you have the feeling that it goes too fast, you get out of the plane. Okay. That's what I always teach my my apprentices first. <laughs> When, it, when, it, when it's moving too much and you're not in control, get out of the flame. Yeah. And the thing is, like, it's already heated up, so I shouldn't need too much time here in the flame because it was already on the preheater, correct? Um, no, it does need quite a lot more of temperature. See? You're getting better already. The Thank second you. Time, so you're, 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 have, you're getting a feeling of how hot the glass needs to be and what is too hot. Yeah, I mean, the colors help. <laughs> <laughs> the white and the orange helps. I'm good now, right? Yeah, I can yeah, put it on the manager. Do I need on. to change my no, no, flame? I no, 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 okay. no, 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 no. Go to under. Go under the manual and then you, you, you put it on. Yeah. Begin. Oh, can you take it off for me? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oops. Thank you. That sounds like a singing bowl when the water, when the glass hits the water in the bowl. That's what I was always do. Best is the butterflies. With my, with my uh, tools. Mm -hmm. This is a lot of twisting. Uh, it always is, but I mean, that's what it is. It's, it's, it's logical if you wanted to have honey on a spoon. Yeah, and, and keep you it there. Hold it on the spoon. It's mm -hmm. the same same effect. Indeed. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try, try. So. Under the mandrel, you said. No, no, no. The, 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 the glass stays in the flame. The mm -hmm. mandrel go, goes under the flame. But you have to stay up there. Up there. Mm -hmm. Yo. You're playing now. You're playing now. It's good. Mm -mm, not working. Can you take it off for me? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Exactly nothing. My stuff came off though. Oh uh, yeah, then yeah. Okay. I read it. Really? Guys, I'm pretty sure you won't be like me. I don't know. Soft flame. You're having the oxygen on. <laughs> so much to remember.
Are you guys having fun yet? It's not so not so easy. It is not easy. It is, easy. It is very different than problem, anything I've ever tried. Yeah, the, I think the problem as a beginner is that you have to coordinate your own movements mm -hmm. and still do what you want to do in the flame. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're right. Okay. I think it's still still less complex than really doing just class work. Really? This is less complex, yeah. I can see that. Yeah, because it's just one side that moves. Yeah. And let's not even get into the petals here below, what they're for. Yeah. <laughs> awesome Kim. Thank you. Steven says awesome Kim. Thank and go you, girl. Steven. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So mandolin and E. Not too low in the flame. Yeah. I better stay, stay up, up here. there. Stay up there, and you go on. Yeah. Now you drop it on, and you turn the mandrel. Turn the mandrel. Not the claws. Not the, the not only the mandrel. It I'm turning the mandrel. No, you went in completely into the flame. I give up. Let me show you. Let yes, show please. You. You're not. You're not. You're not. Yeah. Uh, you don't. You don't really know where you are. No, I don't. <laughs> There was a home. I can, yeah, I can put it on there. So you get it hot. See, it's just orangey. It's not getting white or anything. Just right. orange. And then you go under there and kind of drop it on. Mm. Ah, it doesn't stick it. It doesn't stick it. It doesn't kind of now it sticks. Ooh, and now it moves. Great. That's okay. <laughs> Listen. We tried. You guys get to, got to see what it's like firsthand <laughs> for a beginner. Some, and, and not every beginner is like me. So don't get discouraged if you ever want to Try working on the torch or try um Oh I got it. See now she has it. Yeah. Oh I got it. See but what I'm doing it's just turning under the under the torch. That's what I meant. Cool. And then it wiggles itself on. It looks great. And then you go in and straighten it out. That's what you do. It looks semi easy from from this point of view, from this perspective. <laughs> Still a bit crooked. Now comes the perfectionist. Yes. The, yeah, yeah. Now I want to to be. Oh, uh, yeah. I think it's okay. At least it's a beat. At least it's a beat. It's a beat. <laughs> it's a long day. So anyway. there it is, guys. Thank you for watching me accept this challenge. I accepted the challenge. You accepted the challenge. That's it. Yeah. Um, so that will be it for Catch the Glass with Kim here yeah. in the. Oh, the beats. Let's see where I'm. Uh, yeah, yep, that looks good. That was that was my one, my beat. <laughs> that was actually the beat that I made prior to <laughs> <laughs> prior to you guys coming chaos. onto the video. <laughs> there was another one that I made earlier. That's that looks really good. So it's not that's too pretty. complex, but it's but it's nice. I think it's yeah. nice. 
<laughs> and let's see the the ones, the clear ones here. The the clear ones. Yeah, with the ice blue. Yeah, there there is one that with the, you know, those air traps in that still. But looks it still looks nice. It still looks interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna show it. It looks very nice. A lot of air traps in there. <laughs> so that's it okay. for this evening, guys. Um, I did take you in the gallery for a little while. Don't forget to go on our website, wgkglass.com. You can also find us on Etsy, E-T-S-Y. Our page there is WGK Glass Art. We're on Amazon. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, um, especially you. I think your name is Joseph. Especially you. Make sure you go in there and watch Sandra work. I think you'll be quite impressed and you'll have a great appreciation for her skill. So once again, thank you guys for joining me here in the studio. I Have a good night. Go to Bye. Bye. <laughs>